how do we fix feeling overwhelmed? I can help you with that. Nice and practical. Um, so let's talk about it. Okay. So let's put you on a timeline. We'll make it pink because why not? Okay. So let's put you on a timeline. This is your goal. Beautiful one. Okay. This is your goal. And your final exams are over there. Okay. Now, your final exam, and let's talk about this as like the work that you have to do, the volume of work that you have to do, right? Or have to know by the time you get into that exam. There's a lot of stuff, right? It's a very high, it's a very high level of stuff at that point in time. But this is where we are now. Uh, let's say your exams are in October, your final exams are in October, right? And at the moment we're, you know, we're just in the first week of March, right? So what happens when you're overwhelmed is that all of this work dumps into your head now and you assess what you're capable of doing you assess how you're doing and you assess what's going on and let's make him equal because it is like everything it dumps onto your shoulders now so when you say to me but i'm feeling overwhelmed what you're doing mentally is you're comparing where you are now, what you did today, what you haven't done this week. You're comparing that and you're looking at all this work that has to be done by the end of the year, right? And it's all dumping onto your head at once. And it just feels like no ways. And then it's almost like your brain runs and goes and says, okay, let's go find everything that we have to do for this. Like, let's go get all of it. And then we're going to go run and fetch all of it. And like, let's go look at all of it right now and let's compare how we do it. You know, so you're comparing where you are now with what you need to be doing in October, except for the fact that like your brain is not comprehending that there is a whole bunch of time between now and then in order for us to do this work. The stress comes from you comparing the final goal and all of that work to what you're doing and what you're able to do today. And there's no way you can. There's no way you can match that up. And if you didn't meet today's goal, so you were like, yo, Yvonne, I'm not doing that. I'm just saying I wanted to get through a chapter today and I didn't. The reason you feel overwhelmed is because you immediately go, okay, I didn't achieve today's goal. And so it's like saying, I'm never going to achieve the day's goal. And if Today is going to be a copy and paste and every other day is going to be exactly like today. And if I can't get today right, I won't get tomorrow right or the rest of the days or any of the rest of them. And then I'll never be able to get there. And this is how it goes. So your brain kind of plays out what you did today and it goes, yeah, I'm never going to get there because I'm never going to be able to meet the day's goals. And now I'm behind and look at all the stuff that I have to do. I can't do it. Can't be done. And so your brain panics. And in most cases, what you land up doing is nothing, <laughs> right? Because you're so stressed and you're so panicked and you're so overwhelmed, you, you end up making comments of like, I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to start. Like, there's just so much to do that I actually don't even know where to begin. I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to start. Um, I need to revise my plan. So, you know, I didn't make today's stuff. I didn't get it right. Um, so I need to revise the plan. I need the perfect plans. I need to go back and revise the plan and reshape it so that I can still squeeze everything in. Um, I don't know where to begin. Like, there's just no point. Like, there's no point. Like, stuff is just going wrong. Um, I'm never getting it right. So these are the types of things that we end up thinking. And the reality is we actually get less done, Okay. Most people, most of us, when we feel overwhelmed, we kind of get stuck like a deer in the headlights. And we're like, I'm just, you know, you're looking around the room at all the stuff that has to be done. And you're like, I don't even know where to start. Like, there's just way too much. I'm not going to achieve anything now. Anything that I do right now is so small and, and insignificant and stupid and useless. I'm never going to be able to do everything. How do we solve this? How do we actually get around this? Um, the tool that I give my students is called your brick a day. Okay. And it's a completely simple, stupid little useless tool, but it's called a brick a day tool. And basically all it is, is saying like, 
what item, what thing, whatever that looks like, what thing can I do now to get closer to the goal? Okay. Now, there's a few reasons why this is important. What, what one thing, not five, not 10, not 15, not 20, one. What one thing can I do that's going to help get me closer to my goal? Just one. What one thing? The reason this is important, I'm going to put that in one. Just one. <laughs> okay. What one thing can I do to get me closer to my goal? The reason this is important is because what it does is it calms your brain down. So instead of your brain focusing on the 500 things that it needs to do, you're redirecting your brain and we go, don't worry about all of that. Calm down, breathe. Let's just focus on this one thing. We're just, we're going to pull all this mental energy and we're going to pull this big focus and we're going to pull it back down to one thing. Because if I can get this one thing done, I will be just a little bit closer to my goal, right? And so this creates the reality of progress. Just one thing. Just one thing. It means that you create something that's manageable. Okay? Manageable. Um, I always say you should, like, think of your brain like a toddler. Okay? Because to a large extent, neurologically, your brain still operates the same way that a toddler's does in, in certain aspects. Fine, but whatever. But the emotional side of your brain is like a toddler, right? If you think of how a toddler operates, if you overwhelm a toddler, too much information, too much stimulation, too much stuff, what happens? They freak out. Emotions all over the show, logic out the window, can't be done, can't do anything, it's too hard, can't move. Paralyzed, okay? The way to deal with that is to give them something that's manageable, just one thing, okay? Because I can't see item number 10. If you give me 10 things to do, that feels like a lot. And I'm feeling freaking out already. I can't even, like 10 things is a lot. I can't do that. I can't remember what thing number eight is. When you're freaking out, the way to calm yourself down is to go back to one, just one thing. I'm just going to do one 10 mark question. Okay. And then your brain focuses back in and it's like, you know, it's like saying to the toddler, forget everything else. Just go and fetch me that one thing. Just go and pick up that one item. Okay. So it becomes manageable. It's progress. The important thing is that it calms your brain down and it removes, it removes the pressure of all of this, it kind of disappears and goes, we're not focusing on the whole thing because what I want you to be aware of and what we need you thinking is that your graph looks like this, your time and your work is where we are now and your exams, your work kind of needs to look like this. And some days there will be nothing because it goes really badly. And some days it's going to feel like you're actually a negative. Like I didn't learn anything today. In fact, I got stupider. <laughs> okay. Some days you're going to get more done. Some days you're going to get a little bit done. Some days you're going to get like the same amounts done. And then there's a few days of like absolutely nothing. But what happens? If you keep adding these little bits and sometimes it's a zero. And sometimes it might be a negative because like, I just, you know, I lost brains today, you know? <laughs> but if you keep adding the little bits and pieces up, the bricks, just the one step, just the one thing, if you keep adding them up, by the time you get to the exam, you will be at that level. But your brain doesn't think like this. Your brain only thinks of that. Okay? If we were able to visualize this, we wouldn't feel so overwhelmed. But every time something goes wrong, I didn't get through the chapter, I didn't get through the question, I didn't get through the stuff, the moment that happened, your brain goes, oh, crap, we've done something wrong, it's not right, and then the whole year dumps onto your head at once. The moment your brain panics, 
it pulls in everything and dumps it in on your head at once. In fact, for a lot of you, you'll probably find not only does it dump your studying in, but your work as well and family obligations and all those admin things and financial stuff. It's almost like your brain goes, okay, there's something to worry about. Let's go and let's go and find all the things to worry about. <laughs> let's worry about everything. Okay. And what we need to do is redirect that and go, keep all of that out. We just need to focus on this. The reason that it's called, the reason that it's called brick a day is because the idea is when you're studying or whatever big task you're doing, you're building a wall. That's a wall. <laughs> okay. You're building a wall. But walls are not units. We don't build walls. We don't wake up in the morning and go, today I'm going to build a wall, right? And by the end of the day, we have a wall. No, what we have is a bunch of bricks. And we lay bricks and we lay bricks. And every day we lay another brick. We lay another brick. Sometimes it's a big one. Sometimes it's a small one. Sometimes it's big and my, my wall is terrible okay but by laying bricks by just laying one brick you start building a wall by laying another brick you lay and you create more of a wall okay and eventually you're going to have your wall a wall is made of bricks okay it's made of bricks your job is just one at a time to lay those bricks. Today, just gonna do this, just gonna do this, just gonna do this. And slowly but surely, those bricks add up. The problem is these bricks are manageable. You know, thinking of one brick, that's manageable, okay? Thinking of the whole wall at once, no ways, I'm not gonna do anything. Cause I'm like, I can only do this much of the whole wall, like there's no point. There's no point. Very important to understand, okay? The way that your brain works is to pull everything in at once when you're overwhelmed. I don't know. It's almost like you kind of have to wonder, like, that's not logical. Surely, if I'm worried about something, my brain should help me by keeping all the other worries away. But no, your brain doesn't help you. It goes and runs and finds everything it could possibly be worried about and it dumps it on your shoulders all at once. So you consciously have to go, no, 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 no. One thing at a time. I'm only doing one thing. Okay. Confidence comes from doing. So when you do, when you lay that one brick, you can step back from that and go, I made progress. I did this one thing. I did this thing. See, it can be done. I can move. Because exactly as you say, when we're paralyzed, our biggest problem is moving. We stop moving at all. I need you moving, even if it's nice and slow, even if it's really slow. I would, it would be lovely to have you all running, but you're not running. I would rather have you just one step at a time, just one step at a time, 